guys, welcome to a new lesson. I am Neharika. So are you ready for the big event? Well, I am talking about the FIFA World Cup tournament that is just around the corner. So people are really excited to watch the game. Are you ready to discuss or describe the game to your friends and family? Well, that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. We are going to look at some expressions and some vocabulary related to the game soccer. So let's have a look here. The first one that we have is a center circle. And what is a center circle? Well, center circle is a circular marking which is in the center of the field, of the football field, with a radius of 10 yards. So let's just assume that this is our football field and this is the center circle and from which the kickoff starts. Let's see what we have next. We have penalty spot. And what is penalty spot? Well, it is a white marking from where penalty kicks are taken. So if you see here, these are the penalty spots or also called as penalty marks. Let's see what we have next. We have goal area. Now, goal area are these rectangular areas on the side of the fields and the front of the goals. Right here. This is the goal area from where the goal kicks are taken. So, basically, we just got an idea about the field, okay, the football field. Now, let's just understand who are the team players. Now, the first thing that we have over here is a referee. Now, referee is quite an important man. The reason because he is in charge of the game. He is the one who ensures that the rules are followed by the team players. So definitely he's considered as a very important person. And then we have a goalkeeper. Well, one of the most important players of the team. Now goalkeepers are in the team's goal who stop the opposing team players to make a goal. Okay, so those are the goalkeepers. So they are always in the goal area and very, very important key players for the team. Then we also have forwards. Now forward players, uh, in fact, one of the best forward player is Messi. And who are they? What is their job in the game? Well, they are in the attacking position, okay? What they do is they definitely ensure that they score a goal for the team. But what they also do is they attack the opposing team. Okay. Then we have back. Now back are also called as defenders. And they are the people who are not much into scoring goals. I mean, of course, they can score a goal, but they do not pay a lot of attention to score a goal. But the most important thing for the defenders is to stop the opposing team players from scoring a goal. Okay, so they try their best and definitely they are also considered as very main players because they are the ones who are stopping the opposing team players from scoring a goal. The next one that we have is midfielders. Now midfielders are positioned between the forwards and the defenders. So they also play an important role. Of course, each player has their own importance. So midfielders, in fact, uh, Ronaldo is one of the famous midfielders. So he plays really well. So midfielders are positioned between the defenders and the forwards. Then we have kickoff. Now what is kickoff? Kickoff is the time when the football match begins or it restarts after a team has scored a goal for themselves. So it is the beginning of the game. We also have stoppage and extra time. First, let's learn what is stoppage time. Now stoppage time is a time period that is added to the end of the game, maybe because uh, player was injured okay so of course if a player is injured you have to take care of the player and a little time is spent on the same 
so that time is added at the end of the game so that the game is continued okay stoppage time is also called as injury time okay and then we have extra time extra time is the time period that is added at the end of the game only if the if any of the teams have not scored any goals so if they are nil this means that they would get some extra time so it's basically getting a chance maybe to score a goal for them okay so that is stoppage time and extra time and then we have the yellow and the red card the most important things and which most of the referees love it to show uh, yellow or red cards to the players yellow card is a warning card shown by the referee now remember referee is the person in charge of the game okay he ensures that the rules are followed so if a player has disobeyed a rule then he is warned by a yellow card so yellow card is a sign of warning whereas a red card is shown by the referee if the player has disobeyed a rule and he would not be continued to play further so he is kind of disqualified he has to get out of the field okay so these are certain words that would help you to understand the game okay it's vocabulary related to soccer now let's have a look at some phrases that would help you to talk and discuss the game so now let's have a look at some phrases here that was a great comeback now maybe you are discussing a game with your friends and you say oh that was a great comeback so what does that mean this means that maybe the team was losing okay maybe they were not playing very well but then with some efforts to win or to succeed that they put in they won the game they did extremely well so that's why if a fan is discussing this game you can say that was a great comeback for the team so maybe they were about to lose but with some new efforts they won the game okay then we have we dominated the first half now dominated means to have a commanding position okay so it definitely means that you ruled the first half but what does first half mean now in a game of football it usually is of 90 minutes okay it's played for 90 minutes wherein 45 minutes is considered as the first half of the game okay so maybe this team was doing extremely well in the first half okay they were just too good the players definitely scored some good goals and uh, they defended themselves very well so they dominated the first half they did pretty well in the first 45 minutes of the game okay then to thump a team now what is to thump a team well it means to defeat a team so if you are supporting a team which has won so you can say that we thumped the team so it was a pretty easy game and we defeated them we thumped the opponents okay defeated and we can also say we thrashed the team okay so not literally thrashed the team but defeated the team okay then we have all bets are off now when you use this that oh all bets are off on this match this means that both the teams are extremely great okay they both uh, score great goals okay the team players are excellent and uh, you really can't predict that who is gonna win the match it's very difficult so you can say all bets are off for this match so maybe it's Germany and Brazil playing and both teams are just too good so you are not sure it's pretty unpredictable that who is gonna win then you can say that all bets are off on this match okay and the last one that I have for you here is team outplayed us in the penalty shootout 
So what does outplayed mean? It means to play better than the opponent team, okay? So maybe the team that you are supporting outplayed the other team. So this means they did excellent, okay? They defeated the other team. So they outplayed us in the penalty shootout. Oh, and what does penalty shootout mean? Well, penalty shootout is when the teams, both the teams score the same number of goals, okay, then it's not a tie. What they do is they come up with these penalty kicks or penalty shootouts where a certain number of kicks are given to the team players to decide who would win the match, okay? So that is penalty shootout. So the team outplayed us in the penalty shootout. So this means maybe the team that you were supporting scored the most number of kicks in the penalty shootout and they defeated the opponents, okay? So these are the phrases that would help you to talk about the game. So do watch the game and I'm sure that you would have a great time. May the best team win and I'll see you soon in your next lesson. Till then, you take care. Goodbye.